Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you healthy habits that I have developed, I guess, since becoming a mom that help give me energy and help me get through my day and help me um, cook and clean and play with my kids um, and kind of survive three kids. So um, because these are habits, they are definitely something I do every single day and I give all the credit to these tips that I'm going to be sharing with you or habits that I'm going to be sharing with you. I feel like if I didn't do these, I would not have as much energy. I would not be as happy. Um, my house would definitely be a lot messier. So um, I really have to say that these tips have helped me a lot. And ever since becoming a mom, um, I just found that they started becoming, instead of doing something that I would do here and there, they kind of became a habit. And now I just do them without even thinking. I'm um, just like it's second nature. So I'll be sharing them with you and hopefully you guys can incorporate a few of these into your life and maybe provide you with some energy and um, just a little bit more peace, I guess. So um, the first thing that I do every single day is start off my morning with hot lemon water. So I'll wake up, make the bed before I leave the bedroom go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, wash my face, then I just head right to the kitchen, put on some water on the stove, let it warm up, and I'll squeeze the um, half an organic lemon, the juice of half an organic lemon, into a cup and then just fill it up with the hot water and chug it back. I don't sip it, I don't um, take an hour to drink it, I'll just drink it super quick. And what this does is it helps flush your liver and your kidneys and stimulates your digestive system so your body produces digestive enzymes that are going to help digest your food for the whole day. It refreshes you, it actually helps um, boost your metabolism and therefore aids in weight loss. And when I do this, I feel like I had such a good start to the morning already that I'm in just such a better mood. Um, so already when I do that, I'm already in a good mood and that really helps just set the tone for how the day is going to go. So it, take, it took some time originally to get, remember to do it in the morning. Now it just, like I said, it's second nature for me. The next thing that I do right away in the morning before I get anything else done is I will diffuse lavender essential oil mixed with a little bit of lemon or some type of citrus fruit, either orange or grapefruit. And what this does is not only scents my air, my home, so my home smells good and I don't feel like I'm living in a dump, which I'm not, but sometimes with kids making a huge mess and stuff, that little tiny scent that you get for me anyways, just makes it that much better. And, um, you know, kind of like my house is still semi-clean and organized, if that makes sense. Um, so it just really is nice, but it also does help relax you. Lavender, when you breathe it in, it helps relax. When my kids relax a little bit, I relax a little bit. And it just, just really makes our environment that much better and just helps me get through the day. And I know it might sound like something as simple as diffusing lavender might just seem like, like I'm kind of exaggerating about its benefits and how it affects me, but it really does help. Days when I don't do this, I'm a little bit more on edge and I just feel like if my house does get into a mess, I just get a little bit more overwhelmed. So definitely having the lavender diffusing and stuff just calms me down. Um, the third thing that I will always do is I will drink matcha lattes every single day. The timing varies depending on how the kids are, depending on my energy levels, but it's usually with between the early morning to early afternoon when I will have my matcha. And um, I do not drink coffee. Um, I only drink matcha and that is my form of energy and caffeine and it really helps me. Um, it kind of picks me up when I start getting like that mid-morning slump. And it just helps me get through my day. It also is fantastic for boosting your metabolism. So it aids in weight loss and it is so, so, so good for you. Packed with antioxidants. So I highly recommend giving it a try. I just mix my matcha with some coconut milk and um, I'll add like a little bit of cinnamon to it and maybe sometimes a little bit of honey. But I just keep it really simple and it's so delicious. Um, the fourth habit that I do every single day is I clean my house at night. I've said this many times on my channel before, but um, before I go to bed, once all the kids are sleeping, I will tidy up. I don't go deep cleaning um, at night, but I tidy up and make sure that everything is prepped and fresh and clean and organized for the morning so I can wake up to a clean and organized home. And this makes a huge, huge, huge difference on my like mentality for that day and on my mood for the day. If my if I wake up in the morning to a messy or disorganized home, I am a grump the entire day and nothing seems to go right for me. But when I wake up to a fresh house and it's everything's organized, I feel like I already have a good handle on the day and I can just handle whatever that day throws at me. So it really makes a difference and it definitely helps me out. The fifth thing is actually making beds in the morning. And again, this is something that I've said and ignore the kids in the background, <laughs> they're always playing, but. Um, I've said this many times on this channel as well, but making beds in the morning for me just helps me feel like I'm getting ready. If I don't make the beds, I feel like I'm lazy and I just kind of want to hop back into them. So I don't know how to explain it except that way. Um, 
it really helps me. So when I make the bed, I just feel like, all right, morning is started. I've made the beds. I'm off to a good start. And it just helps me get like that kick that I need to just get full force and get that energy that I need to start my day. So I don't really know how else to explain it. Also, nothing is better than when you are tired and you already have a freshly made bed and you can just pull the covers back and hop into bed. It makes me have a better sleep. If I have an unmade bed, I'm not as excited to get into that bed and sleep um, as if it were fresh and made, if that makes sense. I don't know if, if you guys are like that, you have the same feelings, comment down below, let me know, or give this video a thumbs up. But that's just my opinion and how um, it works for me. So it's definitely a habit, making beds in the morning is a must. Now there's a train in the background, so enjoy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, the sixth, seventh, I think I'm on number six, is actually taking mom time at naps. This used to be something that I would have to like really think about doing. Um, I would always try to clean and do other stuff during nap time. And now, um, over like the past year, I've really just made it into a habit of as soon as the kids go to bed, I sit down on the couch with some snacks or my lunch or something and I will either watch Netflix or I will read or I'll do something that I like to do, paint my nails, um, anything like that. And I just made it into a habit now of not having nap time as clean time. Now that being said, when they go for a nap, yes, the first thing that I do is tidy up around the living room so that I can sit down in my mom time and not look around the house and say I need to do a bunch of stuff. So um, I will tidy up, but that's about it. I do not go try to clean bathrooms and stuff. I take the nap time as time for myself. Um, I'm just repositioning a little bit, trying to change the lighting here. I don't know if this is gonna help or not, but um, yeah, I take that time for myself and when they wake up, I will start dinner and do all that. But when they nap, it is now mom time and uh, I need that because it helps me just have a pause in the middle of the day to just wind down and relax for a little bit. So really recommend trying that out. And the last tip that I have for you is actually taking a chaga mushroom supplement or a mushroom combo supplement. Medicinal mushrooms are so good for balancing your hormones, reducing stress and boosting your energy levels. And they are packed with antioxidants, which are also gonna help reduce the free radicals in the body and reduce inflammation. Um, I highly recommend giving them a try. I have been taking chaga mushroom for four years now, I think, maybe just under, and I just, I notice the, the difference is night and day for me when I don't take it in terms of my energy levels. Um, if I take, I have a combo of like chaga and I think there might be reishi and stuff in it. Um, when I take that, I just notice instantly, like within half hour, I'm just, I have so much more energy and it helps me get through my day. So I highly recommend giving it a try. If you don't want a capsule, there are also tea you can buy, buy chunks of chaga, boil it on the stove and just drink it throughout the day. So yeah, I really uh, recommend trying out a, mush a medicinal mushroom supplement. They help me so much in terms of energy. So give it a try. Um, but that's pretty much all I have for this video. These are just habits that I've done every single day for like the past year or two. And now, like I said, they're like second nature and they're just something that I do without even noticing it anymore. But they have helped me so much get through my day. And if I miss one of these things or I don't make the bed or I don't start off my morning with hot lemon water or I don't have my matcha, I just notice that I'm more cranky and I start to crash and just my day just does not seem to go right. So I hope you at least try one of these tips or two of these tips and see how it works for you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below, give the video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.